Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the coding questions which were asked in the Accenture hiring that happened on 1st April 2022. Guys, this is the third video, that is the third question of this hiring that I am discussing on my channel. The previous two questions also have already been uploaded on my channel. You can watch those questions on under this playlist, that is Accenture Coding Questions playlist. I will give you the link of this playlist in the i button or in the description box. Make sure to visit it so that you can get to know the type or the level of the questions we are getting asked in this hiring guys if you have not subscribed to channel till now please subscribe it because more such videos will be published the accenture interviews will be coming on next week so more of the interview experiences will also be published on this channel so kindly make sure that you have hit that subscribe button and also share this channel among your friends so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel okay so guys first i will be discussing the question then I will be discussing the approach of this question and in the later part of this video, I will be discussing how you have to write the code in the exam. So let's just discuss the question first. So the question here is every character in, in the input string is followed by its frequency. So you are given an input string in which every character is followed by the that uh, followed by that character's frequency. Now you have to write a function to decrypt the string and find the nth character of the decrypted string. If no character exists at that position, then return minus one. So what this question is saying, we are given a string in which there are characters present and after every character, the frequency of that character is given. For example, like here it is A to B3 is the input string. So here A is the character and 2 is the frequency that how many times this, uh, how many times this character is present in this uh, input string. Now you have to write the function to decrypt the string and find the nth character of the decrypted string. If no character exists at that position, then return minus one. So our input string will, will be like this. And what is a decrypted string? The uh, decrypted string of this string will be this. That is double A triple B because A is coming two times, B is coming three times. So therefore double A triple B. Okay, so guys, there is a note also that is given to us. That is the frequency of encrypted string cannot be greater than single digit. That is always less than 10. So here you can see that here two is there. That is frequency of A. 3 is there that is frequency of b so all these things all these numbers will be less than 10 only that is single digit number so i hope now the question is clear to you let's just see with the help of example now we are given an input string of this that is this is the input string a2 b2 c2 d1 so this is a normal string we first have to decrypt the string and then we will have to return the fifth character that will be present in the decrypted string so first let's just decrypt it how we will decrypt it we will write the number uh, the uh, the letters based on their frequencies so first two times a is coming then two times b is coming then two times c is coming and then only one time d is coming so this is the input string and this is the decrypted version of input string so now we have to find the return the fifth character that is present in the uh, of this decrypted string and you can see that the fifth character is c only so this is the fifth character and we will simply return c so that is an r output so i now i hope that the question is more clear to you now let's just move towards the approach that how we'll be approaching this question okay so guys this is our encrypted string that is that all you can say you, this is our input string that is given to us a to b to c to d1 now we have to find the fifth character so we have to return the fifth character we all know we have seen that fifth character is c now how we will uh, reach to this particular uh, reach to this particular answer so what we'll do we'll simply will simply focus on the very uh, on the values that are present on the odd indexes so you can see here it is zero index this is one index this is two index this is third index this is fourth index this is fifth index this is sixth index and this is seventh index so we all know that on the odd indexes that is one three five and seven the frequencies are present that is numbers are present two three four or any other number that is less than ten are present so what we'll do we will keep a variable name as sum and that will be initialized with zero now we will uh, while iterating over this string we will simply focus we will simply focus on the odd indexes numbers so what we'll do first our odd number indexes come their first index comes so we will simply add this sum plus is equal to a of uh, sum plus is equal to 2 because the number at ind index 1 is 2 so now we will check if if our sum is greater than or equivalent to the 5 or 5 or the frequency or the character that we have to return or the position of the character that we have to return so we will check this what we will do after checking this i will tell you later so if so if our sum is greater than or equal to 5 so our current sum is 2 so no it is not greater than 5 so what we will do we will simply move to the next uh, iteration 
now comes uh, now we will look at third index that is the next odd index that is third index now again we will inside this sum variable we will again add the frequency that is listed at this index so now our sum value uh, sum variable was uh, earlier to now we will uh, now we will add to again two to it sorry so now our updated sum value has now become four here so now at this odd index our sum value is four so again we'll check if our sum is greater than equivalent to five that is the position of the character that we have to return so no again sum is less than less than five so this if condition will not run now we'll move again to the next iteration that is on the next odd index that is two so our sum value was currently four now we will again add this particular frequency in the sum variable that is sum plus is equal to two now our updated sum has become six so now if sum is greater than equivalent to five is sum greater than equivalent to five yes now this if condition will run so inside this if condition what we'll do we will simply return we will simply return s that is the name of the string current index because we know that current index was or index that is five so s of i minus one we will return as our answer because see uh, at index five at index five two was present so we will we are simply returning s of current index minus one that is i was five so s of five minus one is equivalent to s of four that is equivalent to s of four is equivalent to c here so c is our correct answer that we will be outputting and i hope this particular thing is clear to you so we will keep on we will simply keep on adding the frequencies that are present in the odd indexes once our sum is greater than equivalent to the position that is given to us for which we have to return the character then inside this if condition we will simply return the character that is present at the this position that is s of s of i minus 1 we will simply return this particular character because our current index was 5 so we will simply return the value that was just before this uh, just before this frequency where our sum became greater than or equal to the position so here it was c so s of i minus 1 was equal to c we have simply returned this value so now now i hope the approach is clear to you now let's just move towards the uh, coding part that how we will write the code for this scene okay so guys uh, for saving the time i have written the code for beforehand only so in accenture exam you will just have to implement the function in which your input will be given to you but if you are practicing after watching this video then you will have to write the main function on your on your own but as per the exam is concerned you will just have to implement the function that will be given to you and in that function you will be given two arguments that is the input string and then next is the position of the uh, uh, character's position that you have to return so first of all what we have done we have declared variable sum equal to zero and we have declared an answer string also in which we will store our answer so we will be looping on the uh, all indexes only as i have told you so starting from i equal to 1 and for every iteration we will be doing i plus e equal to 2 so that this entire for loop is moving around only frequencies only so first of all i have told you that for every frequency you will have have to add that frequency in the sum variable so we are adding that frequency in the sum variable like this now after that we have to check if our sum is greater than equal to n if it is true then you just have to append your uh, current character that is the uh, uh, like you can see here just a second so uh, so at this particular at this two you what happened your sum variable that uh, value got greater than equal to 5 so now in the answer string you will have to add this c as a, uh, uh, this c as your answer so in uh, therefore in the answer string we are adding str of i minus 1 not i but str of i minus 1 and we are simply returning answer from this particular if condition only now if uh, if the n value is greater than the string length or you can say if the n value the character of the n value is not present here then we are simply after this for loop we are simply returning minus one because if the answer is present then our loop will be over here only but if the answer is not present in the end we will have to return minus one so i hope now the code is also clear to you now let's just see on certain test cases so first of all a2 b2 c2 d1 and we have to return fifth position so in this case c will be our answer that will be returned and next we will check that if our uh, position is changed to now sixth uh, or seventh you can say so for seventh d should be our answer so let's just see if it runs or not so d should be our answer so again you can see d is here as our answer and if the position like 10 is there now this 10th position does not exist in the string then in this case 
minus one should be printed. So let's just see whether it is printed or not. So you can see minus one is coming as our output. So guys, this this was all for this video. I hope you have understood this question very well. So guys, thank you for watching the video and do hit the like and subscribe button and do share this video among your friends so that they can also get the help from here. Thank you for watching this video.